Tuskegee Veterinary School was established in 1945. It was the first veterinary school at a historically black college. It was created specifically to educate black veterinarians because there was systemic exclusion of black students at most white veterinary schools. And I think there still is today. Yeah. And that's still going on right now. Tuskegee, honestly, going there, this is not like UC Davis. They definitely have the short end of the stick. They're but underfunded, those students, right? Yeah, ab absolutely. Those students, though, are the brightest, most engaged students I've ever talked to. Hmm. And there's a very suspicious pattern happening with their NAVLI score. So NAVLI is the North American Veterinary Licensing Exam. Yeah, so that's like a big test. It's like your bar or something. This is what you have to take to become a veterinarian. In 2018, 91% of the class passed the first time. Then 2020, only 79% passed. Then 70% in 2021. Then 64% in 2022. 57% in 2023. 51% in 2024. And the AVMA says that it expects that 80% or more of each college's seniors pass NAVLI by the time they graduate. So this is below the AVMA standard. The there is not auditing of what happens to these test scores. And it is very suspicious, the pattern at this school and another school, Western University, which is another very diverse veterinary school on the West Coast, the students with Hispanic last names, none of them pass the first time. What? We think that they are changing these students' test scores in order to purposefully make these schools that are more diverse lose accreditation so that we we have less veterinarians of color. How would they and even the execute veterinary something? profession, oh, very easily because nobody owes the oversight. So here's the thing. This is a legal document that was submitted, and it says, we have also received corroborated concerning reports about intentional misconduct from candidates and industry professionals. For example, a senior veterinarian whistleblower shared with us that a NAVLI grader has bragged that his work includes failing test takers of color, stating not to worry because I will keep the brown ones out. A couple of years ago, I would have been like, no way are veterinarians doing that. And now after my experiences dealing with the leadership in the veterinary profession, absolutely. There is so much racism in the no. veterinary profession.